Yo, Rebe, welcome back to Hangul Gwa Chanje. It is now time for our second word of the day, and it's another one that comes from Hanja. Du bonze tanonen paro myeonjangimida. So the second word for today is myeonjang. Jega orit denen tol hennende naiga dilmyon dilsuruk sesangi pakinen soktoga jomjom to palajigo itanen sengagi dinendeo. Yenarenen sede gyochega han sam shimyon mada hanbon ironatamyon yozumen shimyon, onyon, shimjo, inyon samyon, inyon. 아니라도 6개월 일 수도 있는데 새로운 것들이 나오는 시대처럼 느껴집니다. 이런 세대일수록 살아남으려면 알아야 면장을 할 텐데요. So back when we were younger, the world seemed to change at a much slower pace. But as we get older, it seems like the rate at things change is accelerating constantly. So in the past, maybe generational shifts occurred every 30 years, but nowadays feels like there's completely new developments every 10 years, 5 years, 2 years, 3 years, maybe even like every 6 months. And to thrive in these intense times of competition, we must know the word 면장. So, 알아야 면장을 한다 라는 표현은 어떤 일을 하려면 그 일에 관련된 지식이나 실력을 갖춰야 한다는 뜻을 비유적으로 말하는 것인데요. 면장이라는 단어, 사실 우리 일상생활에서 자주 들어보지는 못하는 단어인데요. 여기서 면은 읍면동 같은 행정구역의 면을 말하는 게 아닙니다. 면은 얼굴면, 자를 써서 서로 마주보다 라는 뜻이고 창은 집끼리의 경계선을 말하는 담장을 말합니다. 그렇다면 면장은 담장을 마주보다 라는 뜻이 되죠. So the expression 면장, it really translates to knowing to avoid facing the fence. And it kind of sounds weird like that, but we'll explain. So 알아야 면장을 한다. It means that in order to perform a task, you need to possess the relevant knowledge or skills. So we don't really use 면장 too commonly in our daily lives. Uh, but the, the character 면 is the same 면 as face. And the word 장 is the fence that serves as a boundary between homes. So when we put myon and chang together, it's literally translated to facing a fence. And we'll get into why that means what it does in a second. So, 이 또한 뒷이야기를 알아야 이해가 되는데요. 공자의 가르침 중에 면 면장이라는 말이 있어요. 앞에 면은 면하다. 피하다라는 부정의 뜻으로 쓰여서 담장을 마주 보는 것을 피한다라는 뜻이 됩니다. 공자의 아들이 공부를 안 하자 공부해서 지식을 쌓아야 담장을 마주 보는 상황을 피한다라고 가르쳐 준 거죠. So to understand this Myeonjang concept, we need a bit of background. So Confucius, among his teachings, uh, there was a term. Myon Myeonjang. So the first Myon is used in a negative context, like Myeonse being tax-free, or there's a lot of uses of Myon just meaning to avoid something. So when we say Myon Myeonjang, it means to avoid facing a fence. So when Confucius' son wasn't studying, Confucius advised, by gaining knowledge through studying, you can avoid situations where you will be facing a fence. So what does that mean? 이 상황은 예를 들어, 이웃 사람과 문제가 생겼을 때둘다 아무것도 해결 방법을 모르면 그저 담장을 사이에 두고 마주 보고만 있게 되는 뻘쭘한 상황이 되는 데서 온 말입니다. 그렇게 시간만 보내면서 뻘쭘히 있게 되고 싶지 않으면 열심히 지식을 쌓아서 그런 상황 자체를 피할 수 있게 되어라 라는 뜻으로 면장이 쓰이게 되었습니다. So how do we use Myeonjang? So imagine a scenario where two neighbors have an issue with each other. And if neither of the neighbors knows how to resolve the situation, they'll just be standing there awkwardly facing each other with only a fence between them. So the advice of Myeonjang is to imply that if you don't want to be stuck in an uncomfortable situation where you're looking at your neighbor across the fence, 
it's better to just gain knowledge to avoid these sorts of weird situations altogether. So that's how we use Myeonjang and let's all avoid situations where we're facing the fence together. Now let's listen to a quick song before we come back. Let's listen to Don't Stop Believing by Journey.